these formulas in every one of those cells. And sometimes you may have 100 cells or 200 or more. What you can do is you utilize the autofill feature. So all you do is you click on the cell that has the formula already in it, and then you drag it down after you click on the bottom right when the mouse changes to uh, just a little plus sign, then drag it down, and then let it go. So notice all of those numbers now add up, for example, to 832. So that the concept here is using the autofill feature. The autofill feature comes in very handy for anything that is in a sequence. For example, if you want, let's say, uh, to type the days of the week, and you want to fill those days in a sequence, instead of you having to type them manually, what you can do is just type the first day of the week and then drag it down. I guess this should have been uh, Sunday, the first day of the week, so this would be Sunday, and then drag it down. If you wanted to do months of the year, so you type one and then drag it down. And you get the idea here. You can do it for numbers. You can do it for, uh, actually for numbers, you have to be uh, cautious here. If you drag this down for actual numbers, by default, it's, uh, leave it with the current number. But notice there is a drop down here under the autofill options. And you can choose autofill and then choose fill series because it's seeing as numbers and it's basically giving you a chance to leave them alone the way number and just replicate it or just go to the next uh, number up. So you can choose fill series and then it'll do what you probably were looking to do to start with. You can also use this feature, the autofill feature, by typing, let's say, things in a sequence. For example, one and four. Let's say you want to have like three in between two numbers. What you do is you select that range, for example, one and four, those two cells, and then you drag this down together. So notice I had selected both of them, and I notice it says one, four, seven, ten, thirteen, and so on. So we have three in between those two numbers that we started with and it gives us a sequence of it. So that's basically the autofill feature. So let me get rid of those quickly here. And let's get back to some of the formatting or uh, different components here on the formatting of the text. As far as formatting of the text, it's actually pretty easy. Just like in Microsoft Word, you'll select the text and make it larger or smaller, just like in Word. You can also uh, select a whole bunch of cells. Notice here, like it says, uh, using Excel, but it's kind of indented slightly to the left. You can select this whole range here and then go ahead and change it so that it merges all of those cells and it centers that component. So the concept that we are learning here is the actual merge and center. Now that we merged and centered it, you can make this font larger and customize it the way you want it. Notice there are also styles that you can use for those cells under the formatting here. Just like in Word, there are different styles. And here you can use, for example, Heading 1 or Title or something like that. So depending on what you want and how you want the style here. As far as formatting of the numbers, notice you can select these numbers, the range here, and then format them. There are some little quick uh, access toolbar type of thing here regarding numbers or different um, commonly used tools or you can click on the drop down and let's say you want to format that as currency so you click on currency here and it's going to put the dollar signs with the decimal points as well as far as further formatting here keep in mind that like i said earlier there is also the style formatting so that would be the easiest to utilize and you can pick any of those. Or you can format things manually by you selecting the, the, a range of cells and then changing here the background color to what you may be interested in. And I'll show you more, a little bit uh, more on conditional formatting and that type of stuff uh, briefly, uh, shortly here in another one of those videos. <laughs>
There are four types of references. Most of the, the references that you use out there, they are the what's called the relative references. If you notice here, we have the sum and the C5 to the C13. When I drag this over, it replicated it. It went to D5 to D13, and then E5 and E13, and so on. So it's moving from one spot to the other in a relative way. So if you remember when we did the annual net income in this formula earlier, we had a problem when we referenced like uh, the number of months here via a formula. So for example, um, if we go here and use the autofill feature, notice to calculate the, the annual net income for these employees, Notice it works. It gives us the correct values. However, if we go and delete this, and like I mentioned earlier, it's best to use references for calculating stuff. So let's say we want to get the net income, the net pay, for example, for, for a month for the first employee here is this value. And then if we wanted to calculate it based on a predefined value, for example, number of months or number or annual, so let's say 12 here, so it'll be that times 12, monthly income times 12, hit enter. Notice the first calculation is correct. And the reason is because we just entered it manually. You could do the same thing here for the second one. So you do equal the monthly times the number, and it will work. However, if you go and drag this down, that will not work. It will give you zeros. And notice what's happening on the one that it's giving you a zero. It's multiplying G25 times this blank number here. So it's going one down and one down from our original place. Then we go to the next one. Notice it's going further down. It's going three down from our original place because we started here, one, two, three. So we started here, one, two, three, and now we are in the fourth spot. So that's why we are getting zeros. So what we are doing here is that these references, they are called relative references. So for example, this one right here, its reference or its address, it's L20, and that is not locked. If you were to make it an absolute reference, meaning stay put and lock down, what that'll do is, or the way you can do it as an absolute reference, referring to this number of months, is by putting dollar signs here. So if you put dollar sign in front of it, in front of the L, so the column, and in front of the row, and then hit enter here, it will still be the same number. However, when you use the autofill feature, Notice those calculations will be correct because it's locked on L20. We are telling it, the system not to go down here on L. Now you'd say, well, why would I want to use a point of reference here? Well, the idea here is that you'd say, well, if I want to hire this guy for six months or these guys for six months, then what would be their annual salary? So you could just simply change this to six, hit enter, and all of these numbers will be updated automatically. So that's the base, uh, the advantage that instead of you having to go to the formula and tinkering with the number of months manually for each one of them, you just have a single point of reference. You change that to 11 months, to 11 months or whatever, and that is updated automatically. And that's the beauty of Excel. So here, technically, you could put sum or total. You put the sum of all these. And then at any point, you can know, so let's say I want to hire them for 18 months, what your expenses will be. Here's another example. If we go to this other tab and notice, let's say you have a budget of $20,000 for something. Let's say that there's going to be a decrease in your budget by 5% on each item. Now you have training. For example, training was $4,000. Now the 5% you have to give up. Calculate how much you have to give up on what the difference is here that you have to give up. So what you do is you do the equal sign and you take this number, training the value, times the percentage that you have to give up. And then you hit enter. So you have to give up $200.
Now notice what happens.